Hello and thank you for visiting our website. Today we're here at the Purdue University Animal Science Research and Education Center in West Lafayette, Indiana. In this video we're going to answer the question, what is organic? In 2000, the National Organic Program, a branch of the USDA, released what's commonly known as the Organic Rule. These are the standards by which organic foods must be produced. Today we'll be talking about organic standards as they apply to animal products such as meats, dairy, poultry, and eggs. To be able to be certified and labeled organic, food products must meet or exceed USDA organic standards. For animal products, these standards focus on four basic issues. The origin of the animal, its feed, its health care, and its living conditions. We'll start with the origin of the animal. To be marketed as organic, a meat animal must be under continuous organic management from the last third of gestation. For example, for a pig to be marketed as organic, it must not only be raised under organic conditions, but also must come from a sow that was living under organic conditions for at least the last third of its pregnancy. There are two notable exceptions. The first is poultry. To be certified organic, poultry or edible poultry products must be raised under continuous organic conditions starting no later than the second day of life. The other exception is milk. For milk or milk products to be labeled or certified organic, they must come from cows that have been raised under continuous organic conditions for at least 12 months. The second standard is feed. Organic livestock must be fed certified organic feeds at all times. Producers cannot use animal drugs including hormones to promote growth, nor can they feed mammalian or poultry byproducts to any livestock. In addition, the use of antibiotics in any form is prohibited in organic livestock production. Organic livestock producers must also meet or exceed certain health care standards. For instance, not only must all feed be certified organic, but ration must meet all nutritional requirements in the animal, including vitamin, mineral, amino acid, fatty acid, and energy requirements. Producers must provide appropriate pasture and housing conditions that allow for exercise, freedom of movement, and reduction of stress. Producers of organic livestock are strictly prohibited from marketing as organic any animal that has received antibiotics of any kind. While vaccinations are both allowed and in many cases required, routine use of parasiticides is prohibited. It's important to note, however, that a producer cannot withhold medical treatment of a sick animal simply to preserve its organic status. In the case where all organic methods have failed, all other appropriate medications must be employed to restore the animal's health. Such livestock must be clearly identifiable and must not be sold, labeled, or represented as organically produced. Finally, producers of organic livestock must provide living conditions that meet or exceed USDA organic standards. Most notably, animals must have access to the outdoors, shade, shelter, bedding, exercise areas, fresh air, and direct sunlight. Ruminants, such as cows and sheep, must have access to pasture. All shelters must allow for normal comfort behaviors, opportunities for exercise, and temperature, ventilation, and air circulation appropriate to the species. Rarely, such in the cases of inclement weather, or when the health, safety, or well-being of the animal is jeopardized, are producers allowed to confine their animals. So to recap, for an animal product to be labeled organic, it must conform to a set of standards set forth by the USDA. These standards dictate which animals are organic, how they're fed, and how they're cared for. Please check back on our website for a directory of retailers in your area who specialize in organic animal products.